Hey, so um, since I am already on the topic of grief, uh, and I know that, um, I don't know, it, it seems like sometimes when we turn to poetry, it's because of something like that, right? Where we're needing to process feelings. I thought that the second poem that I shared would also be on grief and it's just simply entitled Grief and was inspired um, by uh, the time that our dog Effie uh, last year was kind of struggling and we didn't know how soon it would be uh, when we would need to maybe put her down. And uh, fortunately, this was written in July, July 1st, I mean, I'm sorry, July 11th, 2023. And we got to have her with us for many more months after that. And at the end of last year, uh, we had a beautiful, sacred experience of all, you know, Colby's mom and me and Colby just looking into Effie's eyes and sending her so much love uh, as she made her transition. So this was just me processing it in July. Grief is the wadded up tissue I found in my old jacket pocket unused. I had forgotten it was there until this morning while I was torturing old coats hoping they'd surrender the keys to my future. Grief is a Facebook memory, our modern day locket. Grief is a locked attic door I keep staring at, blinking eyes, aperture, trying to remember. What are we all dying for? Grief is darkness that is scared of the light. Grief is righteous hindsight. Grief is an uncapped salt shaker a coffee grinder, a poem I've kept in a three ring binder. When tears tiptoe in the evening, I tell them I am simply not in the mood. When anger blares in the morning, I reach over and I hit snooze. Which God is keeping time here? Which humans are confused? Who needs to keep score here? Grief is the winner with nothing to lose. Love you, Effie.